so today we're going to be talking about kind of antibiotics and the long-term effects on your health. Um, and you guys know that I've been on antibiotics for acne for quite a few years, probably on and off of so many for so many years, and then as I got, like, I've been on the same one for four years, and recently I've gotten off and I'm sick, so please excuse my nose and my talking, um, but I recently got off. And the thing about that is that it's kind of made me break out a little bit more because, you know, I'm off the antibiotics now. Um, the doctor didn't tell me to go off. I just said, I'm done with this. Um, but I'm going to talk about kind of what could happen and what, you know, kind of the long-term effects on health. And this is going to be different for every single person. So understand that, guys. This is just um, kind of what I know. This could be totally different for you guys because each person reacts differently to different things. And what I really don't like is that a lot of doctors are going to sit there and be like, oh, well, this is what the book says, so this is what's good. No, you need doctors. You need to listen to your patients, understand what's going on, understand that it's not always by the book. Human bodies are not by the book. Like if you look at an anatomy of a human body in a book and you look at the insides of my body, completely different because I have two of everything and half of some other things and double of this and triple of that. Well, actually I don't have a triple, but I have doubles and halves and I'm missing some things completely. So trust me, human bodies, yes, I'm kind of a rare case, but things are completely different for every single person. Um, so you really need to take that into account, doctors, and even patients, you guys yourselves, you need to take that into account and let your doctors know that you don't want what the book says. You want to know the controversial stuff, and you want to lay it all out on the table to know anything and everything and kind of be prepared for it. Because if the book says, oh, well, this could happen, oh, but it won't, you know, I want to act like it will happen so I can prevent it from happening or, you know, be able to know what to do when it does or if it does, you know what I mean? So generally the FDA approves acne medications for long-term use. Now, do I agree with that or not? Um, well, what happens is that acne medications, those go into your body, you take them internally and they go into your intestines. Um, and there's bacteria that lives in that intestine. Some is absolutely essential that we have in our bodies. We need that in order to function, in order to eat, etc. And that's a different bacteria for everyone. There's like three different kinds of whatever. Um, which is why some acne medications will work for some people and some people won't because the insides of our body are different. You know what I mean? Um, like some of us like broccoli, some of us hate broccoli. You know? Same with our intestines. We have different kinds of bacteria, which is why different things work for different people. Um, but <laughs> that's why there's no like one quick fix. Um, hi kitty. He just leaped onto the table and missed and clawed his way up. That is not the kind of table you want to do this on, honey. That's how traditional medications are supposed to work. Um, and the thing that really kind of brings me concern is that over a long time period, over a long period of time, is this going to cause problems? Because yes, it's killing the bad bacteria, but there has been proof to show it's also killing the good bacteria, the stuff that we need. That's why you might hear a lot of times you have to take probiotics or you have to eat yogurt um, when you are on some of these medications because what happens is that it will kill out the good bacteria and you really need to pre replenish that really good intestinal bowel flora in order to kind of keep everything in check. One of the main concerns is that it will take away that bacteria and kind of cause problems in the future. Also something that I have been noticing that a subscriber actually told me about is that when you get off the medication, um, you might get a couple pimples up here and I have been getting a lot around my hairline. Reason why is because that bacteria, that medication usually inhibits some bacteria from growing there, but now that there's more yeast production or something, it's causing that, which is really troubling for me. The other question is, are these antibiotics going to stop me from, like are they going to make me less resistant to them in the future? Ow, and a lot of doctors will tell you that the answer to that is no. The answer is actually, in my opinion, personal objectionable opinion is yes. And it has been shown in a couple of different studies um, that if you take these medications, your body will be more resistant to them in the future. I used minocycline forever and it didn't work anymore. So that's why I had to go to tetracycline, things like that. Now, people are concerned, oh my gosh, if I get MRSA or if I get a really bad staph infection, my body's not gonna be able to fight it off and I'm gonna die. That's not the same. Those staph infections and those life-threatening diseases are usually treated by penicillin, um, amoxicillin, other antibiotic strands that are much more powerful. So even if you are completely resistant to tetracycline, minocycline, Bactrim, things like that, if you guys have a urinary tract infection or some of these other horrific, horrific, horrifying diseases, Usually those can, it's not going to be a problem because it can be treated. The only thing is that you may become resistant to acne medications. Um, but the good thing is that those medications are usually only for the treatment of acne. So they're not going to like kill you in the future. Um, however, medications when used correctly as taken in the right dosages, usually they are amazing. As you guys can see, my skin has cleared up so much because of them. And I'm afraid that now I'm off them that I'm gonna get just like I was last year and completely explode. And I'm really hoping that I won't, but I'm really afraid that I will. 
So, but now I'm just going to try it. Um, but when used correctly, these medications are usually fine. And sometimes you'll need blood tests, blood work, just to make sure everything's functioning properly. You want to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction to a medication or anything. Um, but generally, medications, acne medications are good. Um, but just be careful because over a long period of time, please try not to do it. Just because you never know what it's going to do to your health. Sometimes it can cause joint problems. It could, you know, this stuff, if you put the same thing in your body day after day, it's a powerful substance. It's prescription only. It could alter your DNA. It could change things. So go ahead, try it. If it works for you, great. But after you don't need it, please get off of it. Or try to. So I'm not saying don't take these medications because I really think you should, but just be careful. Be sure to check your symptoms. Be sure to take a probiotic. I I'm shocked that antibiotics can even be prescribed without prescribing the good bacteria, the probiotics. If you are on an antibiotic, you need to be taking a probiotic, um, such as acidophilus or something. So that is just kind of what I think about acne medications and the long-term effects. Um, some medical dictionaries might say different, some doctors might say different, some people might say the same. So that's just what I know, that's kind of my opinion. Tell me, have you guys ever been on any of these medications? Are you off now? What happened to you? Um, is everything okay or how are you thinking of it? What are your thoughts? Let's all put comments below and talk about it. Um, but be a big happy YouTube family so that, that way we can kind of communicate. Um, and maybe there's something that I missed today. Or maybe there's something that you guys don't agree with that I said today. So I don't know where Kitty went. Come here, baby. Okay, well, he's just going to go run over there. Um, he can go chill by himself. He just scratched my neck, like, unbelievably. I bet I'm bleeding. Um, but those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. And I hope that you guys found this video helpful and informative. So that's all. And I will definitely talk to you guys in the very next video. Bye.